sales and learning they always go hand in hand in fact they are complementary to each other you cannot make good sales unless you have a good domain knowledge about the product that you're selling in the same way if you're doing good sales your domain knowledge is automatically going to expand with that thought i would like to start this interview my name is nishant raheja and i come from a sales and entrepreneurship background my journey uh, to sales started pretty early when i was in 9th class and i was asked to sell 100 rightometer pens it was newly launched it was a pretty heavy pen and it used to last for years and our school apparently had a culture of playing pen fights and i saw an opportunity there and I sold my first 100 rightometer pens for the first time in my life i enjoyed a lavish lifestyle from the money i made from selling those pens after selling those pens i was looking for opportunities to make more money and there was there was another thing that i was good at was uh, education uh, because uh, from the very beginning of my life uh, we have been taught the importance of education my father is the only guy educated in his family and he landed into a government job at a pretty early stage so we knew how important education was we studied really hard and uh, fortunately i was able to score good percentage it was 92% uh, and i took physics chemistry and mathematics at the same time i saw another opportunity to make money which was giving tuitions after my board exams i opened up a tuition center and i used to teach uh, students from 6th to 9th class so then i went for my education from guru jambeshwar university and i did uh, a btech in electronics and communication i will admit that uh, yes i never had a supplementary i never had a back in my entire college life fortunately i was able to crack the exams uh, apparently i was more interested towards making more money because the fever had always been there since 9th class so uh, i joined a multi level marketing which is called victory hub and there also i was selling uh, education material it was a set of 12 books uh, related to vocab mathematics and a little bit about uh, cultural different a little bit about cultures of different countries soft skills and all those things we used to sell that package at 6000 i made my first bike from that company and this was a uh, second year of college Apparently, I was introduced to spirituality at a very early stage. Uh, so I got to join Art of Living, where uh, I learned Sudarshan Kriya, a comprehensive breathing process that has helped me even today in these COVID times. So there, I realized that my future was into sales and marketing. As soon as the exams of third year ended, I applied for CAT preparation, and I gave exams. I studied for it. and i scored good marks but uh, since i was inclined towards spirituality as well so i chose a college shri shri university to pursue my mba where my day would start like this we would wake up at 4:30 in the morning which is called brahma muhurt we used to do 108 surya namaskars we used to meditate and then go for our classes my subjects were also very interesting and related to ayurveda as well ayurveda is a very beautiful science we'll talk about it later sometime in my mba college also i did a number of projects i sold sandwiches uh, i did a biodigester project i sold shakes i created a gym over there so there uh, i always knew that if you need to learn something the best way to learn is to teach it so yes i have been a teacher i have been able to explain things because i have worked on that part consciously in my life and from there i landed into my first corporate job into health and nutrition field the name of the company is healthcard while my responsibility was to handle sales made by a team of 16 nutritionists and trainer when they used to talk over calls from the clients we used to get the leads from social media and there my another job was to make youtube videos related to fitness use of supplements and all those things these videos are still available on health card the most important thing that i learned there was i cannot lead a team unless i have a complete domain knowledge about nutrition training or whatever we are trying to sell to the customers so i decided to do an online certification in nutrition it opened up a plethora of knowledge for me and things changed drastically i was able to apply this knowledge to myself and transform myself like this it's then when i met a bunch of wonderful people and we decided to 
we together decided to pursue a project which is called Muscle Squad. We registered a private limited company and our job was online sales based on nutrition and training plans. The project was going pretty good until we made a bad decision of buying a restaurant to start a health based diet delivery system. So there we were not able to manage the operational cost. We were pretty naive then and hence we decided to close the company. See, there is one thing that uh, always been there in my life. If I realize, I have always worked consciously on my problems. I have believed my mentors. Fortunately, I've got very good mentors so far. They have always taught me the importance of new skills and domain knowledge. So now I wanted to understand the consumer perspective and hence I decided to join the most customer centric company in the world, Airbnb. Airbnb took my skills to another tangent. I was able to understand customer, how you identify, how you define an order of a problem when, whenever, you, uh, whenever you face a call from a customer, how do you reach the solution with the available data, with the available resources at your hand and still get a promoter. In the meantime, uh, I was blessed with a baby boy and uh, my responsibilities as a father started. Airbnb was a 24-7 shift, so I talked to my manager and asked for a permission to leave. So now, while we were taking care of our son, I had plenty of time to work on my skill set. So I decided to learn website making, video editing and SEO. I wanted to become more digitally sound because I realized the potential of business is online. Meanwhile, I was also thinking about the scalable project and we landed into the Amrit Life. The Amrit Life is a premium copper, brass and bronzeware store. It's an online store in Sector 11, Gurgaon, where we sell everything made with copper related to cookware and drinkware. Our business is completely online and I created this website two years back uh, with a sole purpose to keep human being healthy. It is really important to understand that how our food and water is treated. We are using plastic and aluminium cookware and drinkware for a long time now and it has impacted our health in a very very bad way. But I want to change that one step at a time and with that thought I started this concept. I first wanted to change the water. So copper is an oligodynamic metal. When you keep water in contact with copper in a cylindrical vessel for 10 to 12 hours, copper ions will get into the water and making the water alkaline in nature. So when you have this water first thing in the morning, what it does is it balances your pH. Apparently, copper is a very important mineral for your body, for your joints, heart health. If you have had a constipation issue for a very long time, copper water, very first thing in the morning, empty stomach is the thing for you. Apparently, it had a lot of other health benefits. So this was just the drinkware section I started with. Now we have copper cookware, brassware. Plus, uh, I also realized the business perspective of this particular model. I am run, I'm going very slow. We are only dealing in quality products. See, uh, uh, we, we are not doing push sales at all. The only method that I have adopted to uh, run Amrit Life is online videos, Instagram marketing, and online website orders only. So this project that I've been doing is growing at its pace. Uh, as I told that we are only dealing into quality products and uh, the problem that we have solved, copper turns black very easily. So we have come up with very beautiful antique designs and Meenakari designs which are completely handmade. So uh, yes, uh, I want to pursue this project parallelly uh, with a job. Uh, key is time management. I'm able to take nine to 10 hours out for a job uh, where I would work more on the skill sets, um, which is data analysis. This is the next skill set that I would want to learn. So yeah, this is it. I have been into sales for a long time now and learned a lot from my mistakes. I have gone through failures uh, my approach towards client uh, has become very humble. Uh, I have not just sold products or services, I have always tried to sell myself because that's the first thing a salesman would do.